Hey everyone, another recently published book that I wanted to share with you all is called The Measure by Nikki Ehrlich. This book was published on June 28th, 22, and on July 11th it was half off So at Barnes & Noble. So, I, yeah, why, why would I not buy a book that's half off? Um, so when it first arrived, I don't love the cover art. And it's not specific to this book. It's It seems to be a trend the past two or so years that the covers don't really give us much clue about what the book is actually about. So this one, for instance, has the ribbon around the flowers, which is going to be a major part of the story. But the flowers themselves had nothing to do with the story. And just looking at this, I would have no idea what it was about. I also don't love deckle edged books. That is completely my idiosyncrasy and that's just where we're at. So I really liked the premise of this book. It is a, it, I've seen it described as dystopian. I would say it's more speculative. The idea is that one day overnight, every single person in the world who is over the age of 22 gets a box just shows up wherever they are. If it's at home, it shows up on their doorstep. If they are at a, at an overnight job assignment, it shows up at the job assignment. It even says people who are homeless, it shows up where they are sleeping. And the only thing in this box is a piece of cloth, a piece of ribbon, and hence the title, The Measure. And this ribbon is a measure of your lifespan. So there's no explanation so it's just through trial and error and looking at the string length of elderly people so very quickly websites are going to develop that can estimate for instance if your string is 12 inches long your your life is going to be 65 years and i just totally made up those numbers but very very quickly scientists are going to be able to estimate your lifespan based on this string and it's your total lifespan. It's not your remaining lifespan. So I really liked that premise. It reminded me a lot of an Adam Silvera book called They Both Die at the End, which spoiler warning, it's right there in the title. <laughs> I thought that book was amazing. So I, I was really very much looking forward to this one as well. This seems to be the adult fiction version of that one, which is clearly YA. So this story, it centers around eight main characters, and they are all connected in a sense. Some of them are much more clearly connected to each other. For instance, we have Jack and Javier, who are roommates at a military academy. It never actually says which one, but we know Jack's family is from Virginia, so I'm going to guess they're roommates at VMI. And then we have Nina and Mora, who are in a relationship. And then we have Ben and Hank, and eventually all of these stories are going to connect some of them will form very strong relationships to each other. Some of them are going to have pretty short-term tangential relationships. And then there are like a number of side or secondary characters who are just kind of mentioned a little bit, but then they connect into these stories again. And I really liked that thread of weaving together the eight separate stories. We also get some government involvement because of course we do. And there are different responses. For example, one country requires everyone to turn in their boxes unopened. Another country requires everyone to open them and submit to a database the length of their string. Another country begins another kind of series of discrimination. For instance, very high-ranking military and government workers have to have a string of a certain length. So they are discriminating against the short stringers. And a number of support groups are formed for the short stringers and also for the very short stringers. Some people, if they, for instance, have a long string, some of them become pretty reckless or they start engaging in behavior they might not otherwise have because they know that they're going to live a long life. And 
They're always cautioned that a long life is not necessarily a healthy life. You, uh, Yes, you can go cliff dive, but you might spend the next 50 years in, uh, in a comatose state. So a lot of very different reactions from people. Some of them become very violent. Some of them become very religious. Like pretty, pretty much any expected human relationship is going to develop. So of our main characters, our main eight characters, most of them open their boxes. One does not. She, uh, she doesn't want to know. And some of them are long stringers. Some of them are short stringers. And we get to see how their stories play out. So the majority of the book covers the first year since the strings have appeared. And then the last chapter just picks up several years later. And it lets us know the fate of them, particularly of the short stringers. So this book, I really liked it. I really liked the concept. And I thought the author did a nice job with the execution of it. Sometimes the readers' voices weren't always obvious. So for instance, if I just randomly picked it up and started reading a page, I wouldn't necessarily know very quickly which which uh, character that chapter was focusing on. But if you take it as an overall narration that different people are bringing different experiences to this big story. And I thought it was a really, really good story. So I do recommend that if this sounds even remotely interesting, I do recommend that you check it out. If you have not read Adam Silvera, They Both Die at the End, check out that one as well. That's the young adult version and that book was amazing. Um, this one was also really good. So this is The Measure by Nikki Ehrlich, very recently published. I encourage you all to check it out. Thanks for watching. Bye.